Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Line Detectives. We are in day one of lockdowns. I'm getting comfy and today I'm going to share you my top 10 essential programs. AKA it's like one of the 10 programs I first install whenever I get a new computer for myself. And yeah, they're really useful. Some of them are obvious uh, and some of them I uh, only found out over the last couple of years. So uh, let's jump into it. We've got a nice new title screen. So first one, we need Chrome. Uh, obviously we have um, Microsoft Edge that comes with Windows these days. But the reason why I think Chrome is an essential thing to download is because of all the plugins that you can get. So for example, if I go into more tools extensions, you can see that I've got a bunch of extensions installed that just makes my life easier, especially Adblock Plus. Um, so for, for example, what I'll do is I'm gonna disable Adblock Plus and then I'm gonna run something like YouTube where I know there's gonna be ads uh, while I watch the content. And so, uh, there we go, we'll watch an Udi ad. Uh, I mean, wow, so that was literally an ad. That would not have happened if I had Adblock Plus. That wasn't even a video. That was a shame. Uh, let's watch one of Karen the school Puzzle year is videos. wrapping up. Stay motivated with Check Study an ad. and don't miss. No fun at all. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on AdBlock Plus. I'm going to hit refresh, and boom. This is why we're all watching me. Straight away. YouTube, right? There's no ads. Uh, you go back to the main screen, and look, there's a blank. There's no fake ad there as well. Um, and so that's kind of what I like about Adblock Plus and the ability to download uh, plugins in general. It's amazing because you can do something very specific that something Microsoft Edge just doesn't have as built-in feature. So that's number one, Chrome. Let's pop over to number two, Thunderbird. So uh, people who are familiar with emailing will use a email client. So instead of just logging into google.com, uh, sorry, gmail.com or something, right? They are going to instead uh, use Thunderbird. Uh, you can use Microsoft Outlook, obviously. I use Thunderbird because it's by the same guys who made uh, Mozilla Firefox. And uh, I was using Firefox at the time. I installed Thunderbird and it made sense and I've been using it since. It's really essential, especially when you have more than one email address. So you might have a work email, you might have a personal, you might have one for your own website, I one for Line and Tech Tips. It's just like so much easier to have an email client. I'm not gonna open it up because it might have a bunch of private messages, but it's just got so many, like it just makes life easier. You, instead of opening five tabs for all your different emails, you just open one program and it manages all of that. So quite essential to have uh, an email client like Thunderbird. Number three, we got VLC Media Player. So, <coughs> VLC Media Player is uh, super lightweight. Um, it, it just plays your stuff without having to take forever to load up like uh, the default Windows uh, players. Um, it can play almost anything you, you throw at it. And so it's like super versatile, super lightweight. Um, you can do some cool funky stuff. So I've got VLC installed on my um, uh, Sony Smart TV, uh, Sony Bravia, and I can actually stream files from my computer onto uh, my Smart TV. Makes life so much easier instead of having to be, okay, I'm gonna put the files on a USB and I'm gonna plug that into the TV. I can just stream it over the same uh, Wi-Fi network. It's pretty cool. So that's number three, VLC Media Player. Let's jump on to number four, Adobe Acrobat Reader. This is a no-brainer. Obviously, PDFs need to be opened up. I was debating whether I should op uh, put it like a, um, a Office suite of some kind, like either Open Office or Microsoft Office, but I'm just using Google Docs these days. And even then, when you're sending files to other people, you should convert them to PDF and send them over. But also, whenever you're reading files on the internet, usually they're in PDF, so you need a reader. Uh, yeah, I think Chrome itself can just be a reader itself, but I just find it's faster and easier to have something like um, Adobe Acrobat Reader. So jumping in to number five, we've got Paint.net. Um, it is my go-to 
software for video, uh, sorry, for photo editing. Um, think of it kind of like Photoshop, but like more basic. So it kind of looks like paint. Let me actually open it up. Um, but the main benefit over paint this has is it's got layers similar to Photoshop. So you can have things in different layers. So let me quickly uh, draw something. So we've got some red scribbles uh, in there. I've got some blue scribbles. Blue, 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 blue. And if I want the blue scribbles to disappear, I just turn off the layer, right? Or uh, let me add even another layer. Um, we're going to add green squiggles. Oh, it's really hard to tell. Okay, I'm going to make a green circle. Green rectangle. There we go. I'm going to fill it up. Awesome. So right now you can see that the rectangle is behind uh, the blue squiggles. But if I want it to be in front, what I'm going to do is move the layer around. And so that's why you want a photo editing software with layers because it just makes your life easier to do anything you want. I do a lot of things. Uh, the thumbnails I make for these uh, YouTube videos, I make it in using this. Um, it's free. I don't have to pay for Photoshop's yearly license or anything like that. And it's simple enough to learn. Uh, you won't get bogged down with, oh my God, there's 50 million options. It's just as simple as paint, but with all the added benefits that makes it an essential product in my experience. So that is paint.net. Uh, and we're going to jump on to number six. Um, Godwin, Godwin, print screen. This is before Microsoft Snipping had its uh, own snipping tool, and this is way better. Um, so I just press the hotkey I have for Godwin. Let me see if it works. Uh, control print screen. Yep, you can see. No, it'll freeze. Hopefully it works. I'm not sure if it's actually showing you what's happening here, but you can see how I can make a box. I very easy to save screenshots to whatever section I want. Uh, and yeah, because you know, I'm a guy who lives on the internet. I like to share things with my friend. I get screenshots. I, I share them around it's precisely what I want. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, even some of the thumbnails are a product of me using Godwin print screen. So yeah, pretty essential in my opinion. Um, it lets you save it in a bunch of different formats as well, not just JPEG. And it's yeah, way easier than, you know, um, pressing print screen, opening up paint and pressing paste. This like just does everything smoothly. And it's amazing. Uh, I've been using it for years. I, I think it's super essential to have a really nice print screen uh, software. So uh, that is Godwin. Uh, next app, Ditto. So this is actually the app that I have uh, most recently installed. Um, when I first got into programming, um, I was like, all right, copy pasting is such a big part of the process. And so I'm going to make something that's going to make it easier for me to copy paste and store multiple different values uh, as opposed to just holding the last thing in the clipboard. Um, and when I was talking about this with my friends, they're like, hey, have you heard of Ditto? And I was like, no. Uh, what is it? And I installed it and it is amazing. So you can see I just hit the, the hotkeys for that. And these are a bunch of the different um, copy pastings I've done recently. So let me, for example, uh, copy this. Boom, it's got it out on the top. So when I paste, uh, it's obviously going to save it at the top. But if I want something from earlier, I can type that in. And then, oh, I can come back to what I did. It's just amazing having uh, something like this. That is Ditto. Uh, obviously, if you just type in Ditto into Google, you're going to get the Pokemon. Uh, so you should like, do the program and that will come up. And so that is number six, Ditto. Now we are moving on to OBS. Oh, number seven was Ditto. OBS, number eight. Um, it is basically what I'm recording in right now is OBS. You can see I've got my webcam. I've got my screen sharing. I can create multiple scenes. I can switch around them very easily. Um, it is just like how I've got a like print screen software is essential. I think recording video in this day and age is kind of essential as well. Uh, for streamers, this is a must have, obviously. Uh, for YouTubers like me, it's quite super useful. Uh, but I think it's kind of useful for everyone uh, because let's say you've got a problem or you want to share something with your coworkers or something like that, right? You just do a video recording of your screen, put your webcam in if you want to, you can disable if you don't want to, uh, and then um, you just share it. And it's just 
is essential in this day and age. It's what, 2021? Like, recording your screen is easy. You don't have any ugly watermarks on the bottom like you used to back in the day. Um, and so yeah, OBS, my number eight. Jumping on to number nine, Auto Hotkey. Um, so well before I started programming, I uh, installed Auto Hotkey. And this is just for those really tiny macros um, that makes life super easier. Um, so I actually used it to make this video possible. Um, all those scenes that you're seeing, like, you know, that's going from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What I've actually done is I've um, got a notepad, which has got these numbers, right? And then um, I created a script in Auto Hockey. Uh, let me open up with you. And you can see it's not, I mean, you got to not be afraid of a little bit of programming. It is a little bit of programming, but it's like super straightforward, as easy as Python, I'd say, if, if not even easier. Um, and so, yeah, you just tell it what to do. And in my instance, what I want to do is every time I open up this uh, specific macro, I want it to show the next uh, line um, uh, from my source file. So in this case, my source file is these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I want it to show the next result. So right now we're up to nine. And so when I press the button next, which uh, I'm going to run the macro right now, just so you can see what happens. Let me close that. I'm going to press it, the button to run the macro and open it up again. And look, you can see we're up to number 10. And so I found it super useful uh, for small little tasks that just make life easier instead of having to you know, do things manually. Um, I think it's kind of essential, especially if you've got something like, like the Stream Deck, because Stream Deck is awesome for attaching macros to it. It's got like a button you can do anything with. And so that is number nine. Auto Hockey, obviously, you know, as a programmer, you need other programming languages, but like, I think Auto Hockey is something that everyone can use if you want to click out for a game or something. It's amazing. Auto Hockey, my number nine essential program. Now, jumping on to number 10, MTG Arena. So, um, this is my character group for games. You gotta have a bit of fun in life. MTG Arena is my go to game right now. Um, I mean, I, I've been a long time Magic player. I think I got introduced to it in primary school um, when a bunch of uh, friends had it in class. And uh, I only bought my first uh, deck uh, when I got to uni. Um, but like, yeah, Magic is amazing. It's got a phone app these days as well. So you don't have to play on the PC, you can actually play on your uh, phone. So that's amazing. Um, but yeah, MTG Arena is my essential game for now this is like games in general are essential if you own computers so that's it thanks for um joining me on this one um hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully you're gonna try out some of these new programs and yeah if you need uh, any other programs if you're thinking of something specific of course i'm happy to help you out in the inner north of camera region uh come over to your house help you out on whatever you need and so yeah thanks for watching another line detectives video i'll see you next time Happy lockdown.